In this video, I'll be demonstrating the Space 1999 Mattel E1 playset command module top hatch. Now, as you can see, I've got an original here. And for some reason, Mattel decided that they wanted to make this smoked black but it's partially transparent and it's got this uh, raised area here for your thumbnail I guess unfortunately the hatch does not open up very wide without it rubbing here in the back so um, I don't know what they were thinking with that so using this one as reference this is the one that I created. As you can see here, it's got this recessed area, which is actually a thruster. I'll show you on this dinky eagle. You can see the recessed area right there on that, and that's the way it should be. Mattel supplied the Eagle Ones with stickers to simulate this recessed area but I went ahead and designed a recessed area in there. All one needs to do is paint this circle uh, silver and it will match the uh, filming model. And my uh, design does open up, up quite a bit as you can see. I went ahead and added some detail here even though you never really saw it in the TV series. Uh, some control panel, a uh, control panel here with a small screen and I added a box here to house whatever thruster controls there may be and as you can see this my version um, opens up much wider I, I uh, designed it in white color I, I uh, made it printed it in white to match the rest of the uh, eagle of course, this is my original eagle, and it's uh, the white color is pretty pristine. Uh, and this is uh, a uh, unrestored piece. But as you can see, you set this on uh, one that has a uh, good white plastic, and you can see how uh, it blends in a lot better. Now, uh, another thing about these is that if you were too rough with them, the pegs would break. Uh, for, for mine to open up wide as possible, I moved the pegs a little bit. They're still there, of course, and they still function to a degree, but I wanted it to open up a lot better to see inside there. And if you turn it over, it does stay in place. Of course, if you shake it really hard, it might fall out. But it does stay in place. And the original figures, which were uh, our 3 and 3 quarter inch, uh, 118 scale, they uh, did not fit in here very well. So I'm also working on a prototype Allen Carter. As you can see through the window there, he tends to fit in there a little bit better than the uh, the original figures that came with it. 